you are welcome to the world of english last time i have taken the differences between two words and now i would like to continue that one okay phase and phase p f a c e p h a s e hello i understand that there might be some minute difference in pronunciation i am basically clear right i don't know all these such as aspects of the language whatever i know i am explaining to you so face face of somebody then for the construction of a dam there are uh, two three phases pala pala khattangal are that phase then we come to extrovert introvert and uh, please note that rather than giving meaning i am giving some insight into things which i have learned during the last uh, seven decades okay uh, extrovert means one who is cheerful with everybody he is happy when many people are there but introverts are avoiding people they don't have uh, many friends and they are comfortable when they are alone so they enjoy their solitude ekantada okay extrovert means they are good at stage most of the movie actors are extroverts and people who are comfortable with others they are extroverts so but never compare extroverts and introverts most of the poets are introverts most of the writers are introverts they prefer to be alone they are in a world of their thoughts so bahurmuhan extrovert introvert andarmuhan so introvert if you are an introvert don't worry at all it is quite natural but i must say that you know, during my college days i was a bit shy now, now i am not you give me 300 people or 3000 people i am comfortable whatever i want to say i would say i pay less attention to others comments because you know as far as i have a conviction conviction means firm belief urache vishwasam that i am not doing anything wrong why should i be scared of people uh, as i have been running this institute for the last 27 years i can tell you that there are uh, good people who appreciate uh, you there are uh, some people who always find negative aspects of your life and some are critics some are uh, ready to give you compliments compliments in our abhinandanangal okay uh, so people are people that's quite natural you know the world is blessed with the people of different uh, personality traits okay then we come to uh, extend and extend the pronunciation is same uh, this is the problem with english language that's why i, I always say pay attention to my new details to what extent do you agree in iel says they are that is e x t and t so be thorough with that but your leave is extended dd okay to what extent etratholam extended extended nu nenu nittuga your leave is extended okay but there is another word not mentioned here grand and grand your leave is granted that is ted but extended is dd this is the problem with english english is a weird language one of the confusing language of the world and no order for anything mainly because it slowly evolved to be a language because you know there are three phases for uh, english language old english medieval english and modern english in modern english the grammar is totally different medieval english it was some other thing and then old english it was something like greek or latin or sanskrit totally different it has remote connection with modern english okay then we come to grateful and gratitude i am grateful to you enikku ningalude nanni undu gratitude is an attitude nanni prakashipikkina reethi oru nalla samiyanaan it is a great attitude to express your gratitude gratitude nanni facilitate and felicitate facilitate elpumaakka felicitation vannal aasham sariyiga people confuse these type of words felicitation felicitation speech facilitate okay further and father father spelling f a r t h e r further f u r t h e r further for example when people conclude letters they would say may the almighty lord bless you further vindum anugrahikitte vindum vindum okay further uh, denotes some distance okay it is quite far further in english you know never sound r generally uh, this uh, r doesn't have a sound otherwise it is at the beginning if it is at the beginning you have to roll it radio radar okay tomorrow because there are two owls are there in between there is there are two r tomorrow but this is a very simple thing to improve your uh, pronunciation adventure future marketing there is no r part partition okay uh, verdict there is no r 
So there are so many words. At the end, if there is an R, no sound at all. Father, mother, brother, sister, doctor, carpenter, plumber. P-L-U-M-B-E-R is plumber. Okay, then we come to disease and disease. Disease is an illness. D-I-S-E-A-S-E. Deceased, that means died. D-E-C-E-A-S-E. -E -E. Okay, fair, fair, F-A-R-E. What is the uh, train fare from here to Delhi? Fair, F-A-R-E. Fair, is it fair? Some people are a bit dark, some people are a bit fair, F-A-I-R. Feet and feet. Feet, okay, feet is one meaning, the plural of foot. Okay, padam, padangal, feet. That's six feet. Uh, one foot already, more than one foot is called feet. Another meaning. So, feet, F-E-A-T. Adventures. Okay, I might have told you that my brother is a magician. He finds pleasure in doing feats, F E A T S. Adventures. Okay, jumping inside uh, uh, to a burning haystack and coming out alive. Okay, flee, flee. F L E E Oduga. Okay, F L E A. Uh, flee, chere jivigal. Which flies. Okay, flow. Oduga, Oduke, flow. F L A W means uh, that. Uh, uh, there are so many flows in the new immigration rules of Canada. FLAWS. Chela Padigal under, Chela Tetigal under. Flow, FLOW. A lot of water flowed under the bridge. A lot of water flowed, uh, the correct term. Please understand, fall, fell, fallen. Fall, fell, fallen. Fell, fell, the fell, different meaning. Fell and one Marangal Vetita Rediga. He felled all the trees around. I could visit Germany twice. And when I went there for the first time, I could see that, you know, a lot of trees were fell down by some machines. Just coming and almost all pine trees were cut down. Uh, you know, just within an hour, a certain areas of uh, a forest was fell down, F-E-L-L-E-D. But when I went there after five years, I heard that felling of trees was banned in Germany. Okay, felling of trees. At the time, people became aware of the ecological balance between humans and nature, especially trees. We need trees because they exhale oxygen, we inhale oxygen, and we exhale carbon dioxide, they inhale carbon dioxide. What a great plan. And only the mundane and morons state that there is no supernatural power in the world. Okay. For example, atheist. For years, for ages, they have been arguing that there is nothing. But the whole universe is known as cosmos. Cosmos means having a system. So, how this system came? If there is an order, there is a brain behind. And I am not saying it is this God or that God or that. But if you say there is a God, then it is quite natural for you to ask me how the God came into existence. I have no answers. But I know that all this came just accidentally. I won't believe it. Because... Male peacock, when they spread its, uh, you know, all the feathers, how beautiful, how that order came. Same is the case with different animals. We have two eyes and we have a nose here because, you know, to help us smell our food. So, I don't say somebody kept there or <laughs> delivered, but how it evolves like that. There is an order. So, there are plants. We are humans. We are coexisting and we must be. So now the modern science stated that filling your trees must be considered as a crime. But ages back, the great rishis of India, the swamis of India, they found that uh, trees and uh, humans are connected. So therefore they started a belief, a dogmatic belief, a belief which cannot be questioned is called a dogma. So they stated that never ever fell trees because it will be considered as a sin. Okay. So they realize that there is a close connection between trees and humans. So therefore, filling of trees is not welcome. Fragile, putipovuna. Glass is fragile. Agile, very active. See, certain words always associate with something. Agile, monkeys. Small children are always agile. They will never sit idle. Always they are active. Frigid. Rigid. Frigid means without any emotion, no action, nothing. 
rigid rules for example in saudi arabia there are so many rules which are rigid they are not you know they are not human friendly then we come to glow glove g l o w prakashikya minuga okay g l o v e gloves so l o v love glove okay uh, o v e ke angana na pronunciation love gloves g l o v e s kayil edana kayura then we come to grand and grand please pay attention to these type of things okay that uh, program was grand g r a n d her marriage was grand g r a n d your leave is granted t d okay and we are thinking grandiose and please note that you know to be successful in life we have to be free from behavioral disturbances and mental illness when i say mental illness there should be there may be some social stigma mental illness please note that you know there are so many people who are mentally ill they are not aware of themselves okay there is something called uh, there is something called delusions of grandeur there is a psychological term that means i think i am a great man if any happens to me the whole universe will come to a stand still and all these things okay they have a great image of themselves for example a cat thinks that it's a lion and then something called a narcissism i had a staff like that narcissist narcissist that means you know he thinks that only he knows everything he is the most important person in the world that is an illness delusions of grandeur nyan iru velli aal aanu mahan aanu nu nyan thanne vicharikkan so these type of people will create lot of people for their uh, kith and kin that means you know friends and relatives because they always throw their weight around okay and for silly things they get insulted wish you best of luck for all your ventures thank you